Okay, today we're going to look at repairing a broken antenna socket in a Sony television, Sony LCD TV. A few different model numbers. The one I did was a 65 inch version, but it looks like they're all the same. I actually got this part off eBay uh, through Speedy Spares, which has been a part supplier to the repair industry for a long time. Uh, thankfully, Sony have actually made these TVs so just the tuner socket part can be easily replaced. It may be possible to solder the old one back on, but I wasn't, because this TV was up on a wall mount, um, I wasn't going to take the risk of having to take it down a couple of times. I had to get someone else around to give me a hand with this one. So we did it when, when we're doing some other stuff there. So it's much easier just to order this part and replace the whole thing. Um, thankfully Sony, um, they've always been a pretty good company for making things easy to use and easy to service. They've made it so you can actually, for 60 odd dollars, you can buy just the whole assembly, whole tuner assembly. It's normally they'd be mounted on the main circuit board and you'd probably be looking at a few hundred dollars, two or three hundred dollars or something for a whole main board if you weren't able to actually fix a socket. Um, it's not impossible that you could solder this on, but you're going to have to do the same work to pull the TV apart anyway as what I do here. Um, or the other thing would be to just solder a, uh, cut off a, like a video lead, a male to female video lead, cut the female end off with a bit of coax and just solder it back to the circuit board if you couldn't fix the socket. So they are other options other than replacement of the whole part. But thankfully, like I say, they do make it really easy to replace. So um, it's really just a matter of uh, what I did was, we got the TV off the wall obviously, it depends if you've got a stand or wall mount or whatever, but I actually put it on the floor upside down, because the cover sort of pops off on the top side, but it's actually, I think it sort of goes underneath the TV, that, whereas the top side it just goes up to the top edge, so I thought it's going to be easy to do it from underneath, so we put this one upside down and leaned it against the couch, uh, it's probably better not to put too much weight on the front of the TV, the other way is to lean it up on some sort of stand or something, or you can put it up against the back of the couch, just being careful that you're not putting it too much pressure on any points on the LCD screen, obviously, because they will break fairly easily. Um, so this one put upside down. Um, there's there's a several screws on the back of it, including any mounting screws that you have to get rid of, as well as these little black screws that hold the back on. But um, it was actually turned out there's quite a few little hidden covers on there, or oh, screws hidden by covers, I should say, sort of almost invisible to see covers that you have to remove, so I took some video of just that part. I was doing this in, in a friend's home, like I say, and they had visitors and stuff, so I didn't didn't film the whole thing, but I just got some bits and pieces while I was in the middle of doing it. So it's a matter of just removing all those little covers. That'll get the rest of the screws out that you can't see. And then the whole back of the TV, basically sort of starting at the bottom and clipping it out, or flipping it out, it'll come off and unclip off the top. You can get that right out of the way. And then it's a matter of you can just see the, the actual tuner board there. Obviously you know where that is from where the tuner socket was and those other connections. Um, but the only other special thing you have to do, you can immediately see a couple of screws holding the tuner module in. But you've also got to remove this like a plastic piece that the um, antenna socket sticks through and those other sockets. And it's just I've circled a little thing, there's just one little plastic clip from memory. And you just prise that up slightly with a screwdriver and you can actually sort of push the whole thing upwards if the TV is upside down in this case. Push it towards uh, away from the antenna socket or away from the tuner. And just a matter of prising that piece off. Um, I don't think it's really attached by anything else other than that clip and just where it fits around the sockets. Get that out of the way. Two screws and the tuner module can then be slid out like it's basically like a little memory stick or something, uh, a RAM stick in a computer or something, that type of little small connector. You just wiggle it out sideways, pulling it out, and then you can just plug the other one straight back in. A couple of screws, put your plastic surround bit around the socket stuff back in, and then it's just a reverse process of clip the back cover back onto the TV sort of thing, locate that, hinge it back on, and then just replace all the screws and those little covers. Um, but the only other thing you have to deal with is the power cord. Um, so it's actually quite safe in a way this set because you actually can uh, remove the power cord from, it's got a cover over it. You then pull the little strain relief part that slots into the plastic off and then you can actually unplug the whole cord. I don't think you can actually really easily get the back off with the cord attached, you probably could if you really tried, but it's easier just remove that and then you know there's no power on the unit so it's safe. And then it's really just a, anyone who can use a screwdriver and a little bit of common sense can 
basically do one of these TVs, uh, the little plastic covers, you just prise them. I think you can actually slide them with your hand or just use a very fine screwdriver or knife or something just to prise them upwards so they unclip. And that's about it. There's no real skill involved in this. They've thankfully made it so to be the minimum sort of amount of work and also the minimum amount of waste because you're not having to replace the whole board, which some people would probably do because by the time you pay someone to come and fix all this TV, um, it would add up in labour and stuff. So some people would probably try and change the whole board themselves. At least with this, you've just got to change the little tuner module so it saves on e-waste. And it means you only have to pull the TV apart once. You can order the part, go around to the person's home, swap it on the spot and put the thing back on the wall or whatever because otherwise if you've got to take the thing down and put it up again or anything like that it's you know hoping you can solder the socket on or whatever it's a lot more labor and two trips and all that sort of thing and you really do need two these are quite a heavy tv um the one i lifted was probably around 30 40 kilos which you know if it's just on a stand or something it's not so bad but if it's up on a wall or something that's quite a bit of weight to deal with and you, you just can't afford to flex these tvs too much or bump them on, on anything because you will damage the lcd panel fairly easily so you really need a bit of a hand with these if it's on a wall mount and just you know very handy to have something there you can flip it upside down like that and sit it there um pretty hard to turn a tv that big around just on your own and being really careful with it there's these are thin edged ones there's not much frame around the screen or anything to grab so they do they are fairly fragile and you've got to be careful with them but if you've got a couple of people and a screwdriver phillips screwdriver standard sort of size one uh, it's all you really need the one screwdriver to do the whole job with this one we did have to tune it came up with half the channels i think and we had to retune the set through as well to get all the channels back but it's possible they even change those they often change exactly where they're tuned in and stuff all the time with different bouquets from different um, tv channels do change over time so it's possible it was just due to that because we ordered this quite a while ago and we we're waiting for someone else to come and fix the the wall bracket so i had to wait for them to turn up but um you may have to just run it through its um, auto tuning again um, but like I say, this one did come up with quite a few other channels, but there were a few missing as well. So that's about the only other thing you need to do is once once the TV is back together, just run it through the tuning if there's any missing channels, and you should find they all pop up and get it going again. Thanks for watching.